It's another morning in Pal World. Uh, today, what we're going to do is keep on the journey of leveling up, I think. That's kind of the main thing we mostly have to do uh, these days in the game. Level up and unlock some more technology. Because uh, the cooking pot and like the mill and the, fee and the wheat plantation in the mill, yeah, it all requires leveling up. So I think we're pretty much in the mode of exploring and finding what we can do to gain experience. I think what I'll do is I'll check down here, uh, down this little fog of war area. I think I'll fast travel here and then swing around along the beach and down and see what we find. Uh, I'm, I'm bringing a full crew of pals, but only got two main ones for uh, battling anyways. We've got the life monk, uh, my little buddy there. And then uh, Chillette's going to be the mount. Uh, the rest of them's Depresso and then Celery and Little Chicken. I just thought I'd bring them along because they get leveled up fast when you bring them along, I think. I might as well keep all the pals uh, getting leveled up anyways. So we'll just uh, fast travel over there and see what we find. All right, so here's that beach. There's the big rib cage of a sea creature or something. Uh, there's this guy over here again. I forget what what he sells. Talk to him again for a moment. Uh, get out there catching pals, yep. Yeah. I thought maybe he sold something. No, I guess he just talks to you. So never mind about that. Alright, so this is just the beach we're gonna head down. See if we can find another fast travel point and any pals we haven't captured yet. There's a cave down here I guess we can try real fast. See if it's oh, like beyond our level or something we can do. No, it's still the same. I wonder if it scales uh, to your level. Maybe they do. Let's give it a try. This looks just like the uh, one we just did. I wonder if they're uh, like auto-generated. I don't know, because the other one was the same the second time I went in it. I guess we'll find out. I mean, I'll do the same thing, sort of stick to the one wall. See if we find anything cool. Uh, these guys aren't really fighting us, but... We'll get some experience anyways. Chillette should be able to just rock them. Yep. Nice. Okay. <laughs> I don't have to do a whole lot, really, but fire one arrow in. Oh, yeah, of course. Whoops. Where's Chillette? Get him. Chillette? Yeah. Or they're stuck. Yeah, they seem to get stuck on these, uh... Oop, I hit the wrong button here. Come over here, Chillette. Then you can get him. Oh, and he's all glitched out. Because oh. this all looks very familiar like the other one. Oh well. We'll see what's at the end here. We can find it. Is it the same layout? Because this seems to be what happened in the last one too. Like a little swimming place. Oh yeah, yeah, it's all the same. <clears throat> like, it's not autogen, I guess. Because the other one was the same, I think. Or maybe they are, and it's just, since it all uses the same pieces, you can't tell. Okay, Syndicate Thugs. Oh, they're just fighting the Fuddler. Alright, I guess you just jump in one of these and see how you do. Man, he really just took the shield down, eh? 150 arrows left. Oh, more thugs. Get him, Gillette. There you go. Yeah, do that AoE thing. Nice. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's, uh... Like the same. Because you'd go in here and there's nothing. Because there's something down there if you were going down a look, or... One of these days I'll have to try. But it does seem to be the same layout. Because the boss shouldn't be too far away if it's the same. Yeah, it's right here. Oh, okay. So they're just kind of like copy-paste dungeons. Alright, we got gun bosses. Well, I can try and capture the, the boss gun boss. It said it was supposed to be level 13 boss, though. Oh, well. Here goes bodyguards. Ouch. Guess I should roll a little bit here. <clears throat> How are we doing? Well, he's almost got the boss defeated. Oh, chill, it's hurting too. Okay, that's enough of that. See you in capture room. Nice. Alright, so you got an, like, an elite skill when you do that. Uh, it says the team's hungry? Oh, Gillette's hungry. Alright, that's no problem. Uh, let's go here, find a bunch of berries, and we'll feed him a ton. There you go, buddy. Uh, yeah, so that's all that was. We got a elite gun moss now, or goo moss, or whatever it is. And here's the best part, the two treasure chests. And how do we do for experience? Oh, we almost leveled up. Okay, so that's a good way to do it. Crossbow schematic? Oh, good. Nice. I'm going to have to make that. Get a better crossbow. Also, we got a thermal undershirt and rubies. Okay. Out we go. So this cave is just on the beach by the, the sea monster here. So I take it you just can't run them over and over again, right? If you go up to it. <clears throat> oh, you can do it again? Until it's for eight minutes? All right. don't know. All right, let's keep on rolling here. See if I can keep my voice. Here, I think I need to capture one of these. This Nightwing? See if I can get a shot in on him. There you go. Okay, so he doesn't have much uh, hit points. I'm going to be careful here. Oh! Big damage, though. Oh, missed. Let's see if I can get him now. No. Try again. Oh! I don't know if I can damage him anymore without taking him out, though. Oh, there we go. It carries newborn pals to its nest and raises them as a surrogate parent. Once the baby pal is fattened up, it, it hunts them? <laughs> oh, weird. All right. So I imagine that could be a flying mount. I'm going to have to check that out when we get back to base. A bunch of stuff running around here. I saw I, I should kind of hunt these elk for... Uh... Oh, I did level up too. Uh, I think for once I'll do stamina. Because it gets a little rough. Uh, fox parks. Okay, the elk ran away. The elk's really good for leather. You always need that leather. Alright, so I'm down in this unexplored area, so we'll just kind of run around here for a minute. Alright, well, the sun's going down. And I've explored this little peninsula or whatever down here. I guess I gotta go up here a little bit. I, not really much down here, just all the same pals you know and love. Uh, I got an egg. 
And there's like a treasure chest here. There's just stuff all around. There's one of those, uh, what do you call them? Little green things you use to level up your pal skills. Your pal capturing ability. Right up there, so I'll go get that. Uh, I think there was something else up here, though, wasn't there not? Yeah. Oh, no, there's this little blue thing. Oh, it's one of those uh, books. All right, so we'll go get that. What's this? I picked uh, Zoe, Zoe Rain's diary? What? Okay, it's different, because I got castaways. Oh, Zoe Rain? Who's Zoe Rain? Oh, that's the boss I defeated? Grisbal was one of the pals they were going to sell, but she looked so lonely in her cage. She was just like me, and Father, I thought. I was still a little back then, so I couldn't control myself. I waited until everybody was sleeping, opened Grisbal's cage, and ran off far away with her. I shared half a slice of my breakfast and toast with her, but we were both hungry for, by evening and went back to the base. Of course, all the guys were super angry. They threw me in the cage with Grisbolt, and I thought we were going to get it taken away, but Grisbolt protected me. Not even their guns or bats could beat her. How did she get captured in the first place if she's that strong? I bet she didn't even try to escape, the big dummy. I gave Grisbolt a command, and she called down a huge bolt of lightning that wiped out all the guys. They didn't wake up until the next morning. Ever since then, I've been with Grisbolt. Alright, so that's his story. Anyways, I forgot to ca or try to capture him. Oh well. Uh, so that's that. And then there's this uh, life effigy or whatever. Uh, where was it? Over here? It's all getting dark and hard to see. Yeah, if I, uh, open the map up. Whoop. Yeah, I'm just gonna swim over there. We'll see if we can actually swim over there without running out of stamina, right? Well, swimming doesn't take very much. We can sprint swim, so that's good. I'm just hanging out here just through the night. Oh, there's an egg. And keep exploring. There's no, uh, fast travel down here, though, so I'm kind of stuck down here now. So I guess I'll run back and then just head west. Uh, I had a comment here one day, say, go down to the southwest. So I guess I'll sort of explore that way. Uh, we'll pick up these things. A large rodent egg. And we gotta get up here. Game's very much about exploring. Exploring and leveling up. There we go. I've gotten a few of these. I better check on that here. Yeah, so I can just... Hmm. I wonder if there's anything there. Probably not. Or like around the skull? Maybe we should check on that. The problem is... I can't really glide, right? Because if I land in the water with no energy, you probably drown or something, right? But maybe I can get over to here? Let's just see. Because gliding takes a ton of energy. Yeah, see, I'm not going to be able to... Uh oh now I'm in trouble. <laughs> Uh-oh. Can I ride on... Uh... You? Come here. Oh, okay, that saves you. Have the have the uh, mount out all the time. When you run out of energy, just hop on them. Alright, uh... We can do some double jumping? Oh, no. I don't think I've been up here. Oh, you can't double jump? Oh, there's something... Oh, another egg. There's eggs all over the place. Okay, thank you, Gillette. A damp egg. Okay, so he's getting the water. Water critter.
I'm hearing something like a jingling thing. Is that, oh. Oh, it's a lucky night wing. All right, let's try. I'll have two of them then, but uh, you have to try when you run into a a night wing. Okay, it's gonna be challenging at night. Uh, here, we'll let we'll try and get Chillette to do most of it. Oh. I'm going to roll because I don't know where it is. Oh, there it is. How's it doing? Oh, it's going to... It's going to beat us up. Oh, chill. It's going down. Come here. I don't want to lose you. Uh, here. Have a depresso. <laughs> I don't know what he does. I'm going to need... I don't have my crossbow. Can't really get him with a uh, beer. It'd be hard to see. Oh, how you doing, Espresso? Okay, this is working. Whoop. Oh, we might get him now. One more hit. Yeah. Let's get a lucky Nightwing. There we go. He's lucky and a logging foreman. Nice. All right. Well, that's good. Let's get a uh, chill that bag out. Maybe chill I can heal a bit. Whoop. Okay. So much of that guy. So yeah, I wanted to explore up here. There's that chest. I think the red ones require a key. Yeah. But I have one. Alright. So I was going to check out inside that skull. What? We can kind of do the same thing. Get Chillette down here. There we go. I don't think there's anything down here, is there? Now, is my stamina resting while I'm on him? Let's see. It must be. Oh, now I'm on the ground. All right, so... That was a good little explore. I think we're going to go straight and then up and around and then down. Down to the southwest here. Oh, that's where we're going to go. So I made it up uh, here. And then there's this big bridge. So it's all like barricaded and stuff. Well, Chillet seems to handle himself quite well. Must be bandits. Oh, no, there's a cage right there. What's in the cage? Do I have one of you? I don't know. I'm not really too concerned about these guys. So that's a little overpowered here. Especially got like an AOE. And they're not even shooting. Which is fine, I guess. The game is quite buggy. <laughs> Doesn't know what to do. Bet you if I got off, I'd be in trouble. <laughs> Alright, well, this is easy. Here, have one of these. Oh, it's a Vixie. I don't really need the Vixie, though. 
I think it automatically gives you the pal, I think. Yeah, it does it. Yeah, I don't really need a Vixie. Oh, but it's a, like, it's got an elite skill, though. Or whatever you call those. Alright, so this is just a normal, like, normal camp thing. You see around the place. Then a pretty spot. I think that's all you get is, uh, like a pal in a cage. Which is okay. Alright, let's keep looking. Alright, so we'll just keep heading west here. There's some monkeys. Don't need any of these. Nice little biome. There's some more thugs. I have dire howls already. I mean, we can still hunt them and get their stuff. Leather and whatnot. Ouch. Really smashes that shield. Is Chillette here? Oh, he's way over there. Here, come back here. Oh. Oh. Ah, oh, my armor's damaged, darn it. Yeah, I get some leather there. And then there's some, uh... Look like we have to go up. Bunch of syndicates. Thugs and stuff up here. What do we have going on? There's a bunch of monkeys. Something's happening up here. You guys fighting? Whoop! Well, chill it, made it up. There we go. What's oh, a jolt hog? <laughs> nice. Is he eating a thug? Wouldn't mind getting a jolt hog. They all run away, did they? Oh, a drill dog that's low on health. Yeah, should be able to get that guy. Releases electricity stored in his body when under attack, producing shock that could be over 10 million volts. If thrown, it could be more lethal than any conventional heavy weapon, really. It's like a little grenade. Electrical grenade or something. Alright, one of those silly alpacas. Looks like there's a floating rock over here. Yep. Early access stuff there. I guess we'll just keep going up here. Uh, these thugs are getting a little more difficult. Oh, there's one of these guys. I want to capture one of them. So I've got one of these. Ow. Like a little war zone up here. Oh, monkey gonna help us. There's this fire guy up here. Incineram? I wouldn't mind getting this guy. Okay, don't kill him. Oh, so much of that. Alright, I guess we'll just uh, keep going up. Seems to be a lot of little battles up here. Oh, bunch of land balls down and out. What was this? Oh, this is where you get those uh, skills. Little skill tree or something. Get the seeds. 
Oh, I got hunger guys. Flame arrow. What's this one? I already have that one. Oh, inventory's full, really? Ah. All right, I thought it was just weight. Now, uh, what do I not need? I don't ever use this. I don't need wood. Uh, I should say bullets really, right? Uh, leather and wool I've got lots of. There. But I don't know if I need... No, I don't want to pick that up. I want this. There we go. What's this one? Another flare arrow? Well, the inventory is full. I guess I should be turning around. However, I was hoping I'd find a fast travel point. What's all the way up here? There's a wolf. Where am I on the map? Okay, there's more to explore this way, but no fast travel points. Oh, pal team's hungry. Let's feed them bread. You need a lot of bread. There we go. So this looks like a great big egg. Do I have inventory spots? I do, I got one spot. Yeah, this one looks huge. Oh no, just a normal large one. All right. Uh, so to the west, there's obviously a camp there with a pal. I was hoping to see, that's the, is this the camp? I came? No, that's a new camp. All right, so we got a camp this way and this way. Yeah, let's try and get down. We're killing ourselves. I think there's a fast travel over there. We got to go down and we'll take on this camp, maybe. See if I can somehow jump and pull the chute. Mm. Alright, well, that's kind of fun. I got hurt a little bit, but not too bad. Alright, so we could take this camp probably easily, unless this is like a uh, higher level area or something. Hmm. Level 10? No, it's not bad. Oh, there's one of these guys again. One of these days I gotta get one of the elephants. Or the mammoths or whatever. What? What was that? Are they fighting it? Oh, wow. Are they, like, dropping bombs? This is like a boss or something. It's got that icon beside it. Oh, he's throwing grenades. Oh, okay. That's fun. Alright, who do we got in the cage today? Oh, I don't recognize this gun. A new pal. Uh, if you find Nox hair in your bedding, you should leave it where it lays and leave immediately. Picking it up is one way to get a never-ending night. Oh, really? Uh, okay. A uh, Nox. Interesting. I mean, I'm gonna have to go back and review a bunch of pals to figure out what they do. Oh. Okay, we got a chest over here. I'm, I'm going the wrong way. Hey, guys. What we got here? Easy enough. Oh, there's another thug. Alright. So, if I remember right... Oh, he's just fighting more... fighting a monkey? I don't really 
worried too much about the alpacas. So yeah, if I remember right, it was this way, I think. Oh, look at all the pretty lavender kind of flowers. This is a pretty area. There's like a wolf in it. A wolf. Oh, there's a fast travel. Good. So we can head back to base and get rid of our uh, all the stuff we've got here. And there's that ch fancy chest too. All my pals leveling up. What level am I now? So I'm still a 15. Alright, leveled up anyways, but 15's okay. Bamboo grows. Silver key. I don't have a silver key. This must be a fancier area. How big is this map? This is pretty big. <laughs> Who's this? Level 17, eh? Alright, well, uh, we're exploring, doing the stuff. Let's unlock this and head back to base. Nice, always need tech points. And I get back to base, and I've got a raid of wild owls. They all stuck? Oh, yeah, I've had these before. See, I want to capture this guy, but I think my pals are just gonna wreck them. Oh, I might be able to get him. If I watch his health here. Maybe. Might be able to get this guy. Nope. Try again. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna destroy him as soon as he comes out of there. Okay, got him that time. In the dark of night, this pal snatches prey to bring back to his territory. What happens to those poor souls afterwards isn't too hard to imagine. Oh, dear. So I tidied most everything up, and then we got this egg done. Let's see what, uh, large, dark pal we get here. Oh, another tombat. Okay, that's not a big deal. Uh, we're gonna have, like, a lot of extra pals here. Uh... Oh, it must be sleep sleep time, is it? And I have to do things like repair my armor and stuff, but... Let's see here, because some of it's really bad shape. Can I repair that? Yeah. Whoop. No, no, no. My bowler hat's broken. There we go. Now I'll probably fix this too. Oh, I need some nails. Uh, I'll, I'll do that later. That's fine. Um... Yeah, I was going to look at the pals, and then probably call the episode there. Here's the new pal, so Jolt Hog requires gloves for his ability. Shock Wave. Nox. When fighting together, applies dark damage to the player's attacks. Okay, cool. He looks like a little magician thing. Incineram. When activated, attacks targeted enemy with powerful Hellfire Claw. Alright, this guy definitely sounds like a fighter. So he could be handy. And then this is the Tombat, which I already have. When activated, he uses ultrasonic waves to detect the location nearby pals. Oh. Well, usually they're not really hard to find. Uh, but okay. Well, we should see what the skills they have. Kindling, handiwork. There's gathering. And you're just generating electricity. Okay. Well, it's good to have uh, pals with just the one ability. Or the one skill or whatnot. Because then they have to do that. And they don't get running around collecting berries like this one is. Uh, but I think I'll call it there. Uh, so we leveled up a bit. And actually, before I do take a look here probably do this next time have a building time yeah because it's the wheat plantation and the mill I need 
And then, yeah, I'm not going to worry about the fire crossbow. Oh, metal chest. Ah, I really need this. I have these wood chests everywhere. I wonder how much it stores. And I should get some more ore as well. Oh, a mega shield. Yeah, okay. We're getting some better stuff here now. A oh, rocket launcher for the penguin. All right. Cement. So how many levels are there again? Because I'm only at like 15. Oh my goodness. This game's a long time. <laughs> Mounted missile launcher. All right. <laughs> uh, silly game. All right. Well, we'll turn it off for now. Thanks a bunch for watching, everybody. See you next time. Take care.